How's it? And welcome to episode 20 of Safety Talk with myself, Pandeli Lefterio, and Kat Hendricks, our very own safety coach here at FTS Safety. So, today we want to ask the question, <laughs> why do we hold safety meetings? Yeah, it's a, it's a common question as well with a lot of uh, companies saying that, uh, why do we need to hold safety meetings? Because uh, it's not effective. Yeah. Well, and you will find a lot of safety meetings eventually end up being maintenance meetings. Yeah. And, uh, uh, well, firstly, I think we need to start with the Act. That's what the guide guides us. Um, Section 19 and 20 tells us that when to have a safety meeting and what is our duties. But I want to sum it up by saying uh, uh, it is the area where management and employees can sit mutually and discuss safety. That's what it's all about. Okay, and I have actually seen where uh, uh, there were safety meetings, and when uh, the employees walk out of the safety meetings, and or the safety rep, and, and the guys asked him, his friends asked him, "What was that all about?" So now I wasted my time in it. Look, no, no, no. We, we, you, it would have been better you're not having it at all. Look, we've seen that again and again. Yeah. Common theme: people are having these meetings. It's a tick box compliance because that's what our safety file says or our safety management system says. Yes. So let's have our meeting. It starts off all perfect, yes. and if we go back to the previous meeting. And then often, because people are not showing interest, and yeah. then the, the, the manager gets a bit demoralized, and then yeah. so then it just becomes a tick box compliance. Let me just say what I say, sign here, and let's move on. That's great. So if we have to go back to that, I mean, if the true intention of a safety meeting is to talk safety. It's to talk safety. And to actually try and yeah. uplift the morale and promote the safety culture. Yeah. I think, again, and again, I'm going back to all meetings actually, you have to actually remind yourself of that objective before you go into the meeting. Yeah. That this isn't a tick box exercise, yeah. tick, tick box exercise. Yeah. It is a genuine intention to impart positive knowledge yeah. about safety and to try and get people to buy in. But that is the hard part. I mean, we often had meetings. I remember our Monday morning meetings. Yeah. And it was a bit, after some weeks, I was like a bit frustrated. I'd look, ask a question, I'd see people, uh, uh, some people, yeah. and then nobody <laughs> answers and other. And it gets a bit demoralizing for a yeah. leader or a manager because you're going up there, you, you have the best intentions, but if people aren't engaging and reacting with you. Yeah. So, but does this maybe lead, does it have to be integrated into a bigger system of an incentive or? Let's first, let's first t- talk about what's the function of it. Like, yeah. like for example, sales meeting, you want to make sales. Yeah. Uh, management meeting, they want to run the company. Yeah. Sales meeting, a uh, uh, safety so, meeting wants to prevent incidents. Okay. That's your foundation. So everything that you need to discuss needs to be in line with that. And that's why it states clearly in the that one of the topics, it's a compulsory topic, is have you had, have you had any near misses or incidents? And you need to discuss them because you need to learn from them. And once you have had them and you can put your pl- uh, corrective action in places, how do you execute it? Yeah. But, but, so but, that's but your if you're foundation. doing those meetings once a week, once a day, whatever is decided and prescribed in, in, in your safety management system. Yeah. At what point should, should you say, well then, hey, we've got to kill it, we've got to start again. Because a lot of people's intention would just be, no, just carry on. Because if we don't do it and we get in trouble, yeah. then we haven't done the due diligence, yeah. and then we're liable. You know so what? how do you, it's a, it's a fine line. So how do, you, line. how do you effectively know when your meeting's not being effective? Or how, you, how do you determine when your meeting's not being effective? I can remember we had a, I had a client which had uh, over a thousand, but it's admin building employees. So we had to have several safety meetings. And uh, the first year was fantastic. The second year, we couldn't find one volunteer safety and why was it? The simple reason is because it became too much. Okay. Do you understand? They're not remunerated for it. They've got sales targets to meet and all of these things. So we had to do, adjust our safety meeting to fit the company. And that is unique to every company. For example, for that a company, we had a walkabout meeting. Okay. So when you get to that floor, you tell, hey, where's the safety rep? Here's the manager. Let's quickly walk around. You do your inspection. You discuss what needs to happen. You talk if there was any incidents or near misses, and you carry on to the next floor. Do you understand? Well, for a factory, that will not work. Yeah. There you have to sit down because it's been, it needs to be directly related to the risk attached to each of the companies. Okay. Do you understand? So for a, for a factory, if the people out there uh, is not functional, then you've got the wrong people on your, in your team. And that's where you need to start identifying leaders in your team that actually can go out. Okay, so obviously, so management can help them. So can I ask, so this is obviously something that happens. So obviously, if, if people are doing it internally, they might not see, I call it shop blindness. As things change, yeah. you don't notice that things are changing. You don't notice that the meetings are becoming less effective. You don't notice that the people aren't paying attention 
or you do notice, but you're just you're just getting on and you're ticking the boxes and you're moving forward. Would it not help then, like to do like a, almost a safety meeting audit? Like, how effective are your meetings? Like, is that part of what you do? I mean, is that part of the service? Do we do we run safety meetings and check yeah. the effectiveness of them? Yeah, a safety meeting is definitely a big part of if you've won a compliance audit. Not only have you done it, have you attended my meeting and proof of evidence and your minutes and so on, but what you have discussed there is actually been implemented. Okay, so that's so kind of like the same service. logic now. I know how the ISO standards have changed now and the whole principle of ISO is continual improvement. Yeah. So you can't submit the same document you had last year because yeah. the business has changed and if you can't show that the improvement is exactly. there, is this kind of the same logic? It's the same logic. Okay. It's the same logic. Bottom line is a safety meeting is extremely important. And yeah. management needs to, ma- to uh, acknowledge it and implement it in, uh, with, the, with the necessary authority. All right. Yeah. Okay. So let's quickly sum up. It's important to manage your safety meetings properly, not just for the sake of doing the meetings because it's prescribed in your safety management system yeah. or in your safety file if you're a contractor, but it's actually important to make sure that that meeting is being effective and yeah. is having a positive influence on your business. Um, I will actually say that also it's probably recommended to try and keep it positive and try and make sure that the risks that are identified and all the concerns that arise out of that are being addressed appropriately and that you are taking that information and actioning it in your mm-hmm. business and you're having the paperwork to go with that. Mm-hmm. So I think, is that a decent summary? Yeah. All right, perfect. In that case, thank you very much for watching. If you liked what you see, please subscribe and or like mm-hmm. the video. Um, like always, please, if you want to show your support, you can visit us at www.ftsafety.co.za. Um, and or like or ask us any questions in in the comments and or even better on our website on our contact us page and we can get back to you um yeah there's that's pretty much it thank you